Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again today. I excuse my voice first off, throat's a little off, but sciences are clear. But we're going to take a look at Avery's Maharaja. If you notice some, this is a different label. Why? Because this is Bash 13. This is the latest release from Maharaja. It's a seasonal release from Avery who's in Colorado. I'm not going to lie to you, this is one of my favorite uh, Imperial IPAs. This is this is a monster of a beer. Uh, it's a, this year's version, or is this batch's version, is 10.54% ABV, and it clocks in at over 100 IBUs. They say 102 IBUs. So just a monster of an Imperial IPA. Let's get this thing poured. I haven't had this for a while. It's been highly anticipated for me. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing, hopefully this batch is as good as last year's because those are phenomenal. And we're almost going over the top on that port. <clears throat> Got about three finger head, um, kind of off-white, mostly small bu bubbles. Uh, it's fairly clear, but there's a little bit of haze on there. Not sure if that's chill haze or hop haze. Uh, decent carbonation come off the bottom. Color-wise, it's kind of like a darker golden, kind of getting into orange. Not quite orange, though. Mostly golden. Let's get the aroma on it. Oh, yeah. That, oh. I love the aroma on this beer. This is the, oh. So pungent. Um, ah, tropical fruits. Big-time tropical fruits. Big-time sweet orange. But mostly those tropical fruits are just unbelievable. I mean, you're getting all the mango, uh, like a little pineapple mixed in there as well. Uh, there's even like some peach in there. It's kind of got like that fruity floral note going as well. Uh, tiny bit of uh, bitter kind of grapefruit peel. <clears throat> but mostly it's a very sweet, sweet aroma on there. Ton of hot sweetness. If there's any malt in there, I, you can't detect that. That's impossible with this. Such a fresh smelling beer. Um, one of the best aromas on IPA that I've ever had. So I am ready to dig in. Cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's as good as I remember it. Wow. It's, first thing I noticed, um, big hops, obviously, and big malt, but it's so smooth. It's so smooth for a 10 point, what was it this year? 5 point, 10.54% beer. Unbelievably smooth. Um, can't taste any alcohol right away. This leaves a nice, dry, clean finish. Um, the drinkability on this is amazing. It, I don't know how they do it. Um, you can easily get to this bomber, not taste any alcohol. Next thing you know, it, I mean, you you are buzzed. But let's get more into the flavors. Follows the aroma a lot. Um, sweet hop character up front. Um, there is a little bit of a. Uh, Got a little more lingering going on in this one. It's mostly uh, hops most of the way, but you get a really nice caramel malt background coming into play about midway through. There's a little bit of sweetness, but it doesn't finish sweet. It finishes dry with some hops, and I get kind of like a bitter grapefruit kind of finish, but up front, it's a lot of those sweet hops. You get those tropical fruits, sweet orange, kind of that mandarin orange character up front. Uh, a little bit of that kind of like mango going. It is a legitimate 102 IBUs though. I've had a lot of 102 IBU beers with uh, less malt character, you know, less of a alcohol than this that are less hoppy. This one, <clears throat> don't know what they're doing to Avery, but just a massive hop profile on this one. I mean, is it is it like mouth kind of puckering kind of bitterness? No, definitely not. It's still very drinkable. Okay, I've been sipping on Maharaja a bit longer. Um, I, I did have it a little too cool. I mean, you definitely want to drink IPAs on the cooler side. 
But it was a little too cool. And I could tell because that kind of haze that was on the glass is gone, that chill haze. And um, as it warms up, those the hop character actually intensifies. Um, just becomes more pungent. You get a little more uh, of that resiny quality on, on the palate. Um, more lingering, kind of drier character. It's kind of weird. A lot of IPAs, I mean, they'll start out hoppy and they'll kind of fade as they warm up. Uh, but this one's kind of kind of get it to a point where it's really nicely drinkable, maybe about uh, between 50 and 55, somewhere around there. And yeah, the hop character, wow. It's, uh, it's so impressive what they're doing. So don't drink it too cool, but don't you know let it warm up too much. I do get a touch, more, a touch of alcohol though now that I've let it warm up a little bit, but it's still very faint, kind of in the back end. I mean, you don't even really taste it because the hop character is so intense. Um, Still getting the same flavors, but more just more bittering. The more more the bittering character comes out in the hops used, you get more resiny, uh, grapefruity. Um, the sweetness kind of fades a little bit, which is kind of strange. I mean, there's still a good amount of malt character in there. Nice kind of that toffee kind of caramel malt backbone. But um, this is a fantastic beer. I'm gonna give it my highest rating. This is an A plus beer for me. Uh, this, in my opinion, is probably the best Imperial IPA you can buy in a bottle. Um, I've had a few on draft, but <clears throat> to me, this is far superior to playing the Elder and even playing the Younger, which is about on the par with this beer in terms of alcohol. Um, guys, uh, if you can get Avery Maharaj, I'm telling you, it's better than playing the Younger. Don't even bother playing the Younger. Drink this beer. Uh, it's widely available. This is batch 13, March of uh, 2011, so get it while it's fresh. The earliest I could find this in San Diego was uh, Wednesday, the 23rd of March, so I'm um, drinking the day after. So run out and get Maharaja, part of Avery's Dictator Series. Uh, fantastic brewery out there in Boulder, Colorado, and this is, uh, this is my, probably my favorite beer by them. A-plus from Maharaja. Do yourself a favor, buy a few bottles. It's pretty st shelf stable, so even a, a month later, this beer is still going to have a ton of hop character. So, until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.